The terror attack in Paris yesterday began at the offices of Charlie Hebdo and was followed by confrontations with police on the streets outside, during which one officer was killed, before the gunmen hit a Volkswagen, abandoned their vehicle and stole another. The gunmen gained access to the Paris office of Charlie Hebdo by forcing cartoonist Corinne Ray to enter her security code after threatening her and her daughter. The gunmen stormed the building, firing indiscriminately, before bursting into the Charlie Hebdo office while the staff were holding an editorial meeting, where they continued to fire while Ray and her daughter hid beneath her desk. The assailants then left the building, attempting to flee in a car they had left outside. They had several confrontations with police, the last of which ended with the shooting of an officer in the street. Anti-terror police raided a residential building in the city of Reims, about 90 miles from Paris, on Wednesday night searching for the gunmen. French authorities said the youngest suspect, 18-year-old Hamid Morad, gave himself up. The two remaining fugitive assailants, who claimed to be aligned with al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, have been identified as brother Saeed Kouachi, 34, and Sharif Kouachi, 32. Both men are from Paris. Reports said Sharif Kouachi was arrested along with another French national in 2005 as they were trying to fly to Iraq via Syria. Twelve people were killed in the shooting attack yesterday, including two police officers, one of whom was a bodyguard for the magazine editor.